All right, guys. Quick video for you guys. Been asked how to time these 95 Geo trackers. All right. Let's see how can I explain this. All right. Let me make sure I'm saying this right. All right. All right, these 95 Geo trackers use an eight valve style distributor. Okay, your number one is here. That one is your number one. Okay, I'm not taking my engine apart, but your crank should have a dot that points to a slash down there. Top of here, your cam should have an E. There should be an E pointing up. Okay. Once you get, make sure that's dead time. And then come over to your distributor. Your distributor, you're going to have to walk it. See how I'm... Alright, you see how the distributor is even in the slot? Okay. When you slap this distributor in, this gear is going to walk. Now... I haven't pulled this distributor, so I don't know if the gear, if you turn this, if you turn the gear this way or this way. Alright guys, so what I was saying is I don't know if you're going to have to move your distributor away from one, slap it in, and that should walk it. So if it's, if we slap it in and walk this way, pull it out, put it on the other side, number one. So it should be one, number one always points up towards your cow. Number one should be pointing up towards your cow. This thing. Alright, number four should be pointing down to your transmission. Meh. Not straight down, but you know what I mean. And then, let's see, I think it should be two. Yes, one, two, four, three. All right. Then once you slap that in, your one should be there and four should be down there. And then you're going to have to keep on moving this gear back and forth until you hit it just right. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, as you guys seen in the last clip, I was telling you guys about um, the distributor. Alright, these 95s have the strangest distributor ever. And the information you're going to get is not the greatest. So, further ado, like I said, your timing is... So, on your... On the engine block... You have uh, four cylinders. So you have one, two, three, and four. So when you time it, <clears throat> all right, when you time it, you're going to go on your distributor. Okay, you got distributor. So it'll be one. What did I say it was? Okay, one and four. One, two, four, three. Now, that is. Is that what I told you guys? Alright. So it is one, two, four, three. Now, this is for the 95. 95 timing. So, now, you can, alright, now, here's a little something that my dad and I figured, found out, alright, let's see, alright, 
Now there is different timings. And this is where it's all going to get confusing here. Okay. You have four, two, one, three. You have one, three, four, two. You have one, two, four, three. So there's your timing orders. Now, this one here, this one right here is your most common. One, three, four, two. All right, that's your more common firing order. This one up here, okay, your four, two, one, three was my 92 track or firing order. One, two, one, uh, four, two, one, three. I had to set the distributor to number four to get it to fire. And then it fired four, two, one, three. It fired completely different. Uh, your more common 94, your 90, the 94 tracker I had ran that, the 96 ran that firing order. Now, this one right here is my 95. So one, two, four, three. You guys are probably thinking, okay, how is that the case? Well, not all these trackers are timed correctly. Now there might be a forced timing that I do not know. But normally they're either fired off the number four or the number ones. Now mine is strange. Because mine uses a 92. Mine uses an 89 to 92. Uh, let me put this. Let's see, 89 to 94 uh, pay, uh, distributor. Um, 95 would go into that category if you had the 16 valve. Now, 96 to 90. 97, 98, 97, 98 ish uses a whole lot different distributor. Okay, they use a distributor that's like that, but it's got a point that sticks out of the cap. And then you got your normal firing order. If I knew where my 96 cap was at, I could show you what it looked like. But there's like this uh, coil HV output. Uh, it's what that is. There's like a little pin that sticks out. Now that uses the timing order of uh, one, oops, one, three, four, two. That is your timing for that one. Now. Let me erase what I just said here. So if we got all this timing figured out here, of all the different timings, let me focus just on the 95 timing. So, like I said, for 95, for, from what I can see, is one, see, one, one, two, four, three. That is my 95 timing. Now, like I said, when you put the distributor in, there is a heel coil off the heel, heel, cut gear so it'll be something like this it'll have teeth cut on a slant like they're I don't know 20 degree cuts and then your cam's got the same type of gear so when you got the heel cut gears your the two gears will go down and they would 
the can would stay same and the craw distributor would turn because those two gears are trying to mesh onto these uh, heel cut cut gears so your distributor is going to walk either direction now I don't know which way like I said don't know which way they're going to walk um, if I had know where the my spare distributor is at I could actually show you a lot better but I don't know where my spare distributor is sitting at for the tracker so further ado So, let's see, um, now setting the cam, okay, on the crank side, you got this, your oil pump is here, and then your crank gear. There should be a slash sitting right here, and there should be a dot on the crank, crank gear, like I told you. Make sure those two are lined up. All right, now on your cam gear, there should be an E, which is what you want to time the 95 motor to. And then you would have an I. So you should have an E and an I. So you want the E up to the slash. So that's how it should be when you set it. And then you got your belt that runs here and then it's got a tensioner here alright and on on the back side of your tensioner there should be a hole so your um, plate has a tang on it. That little tab, it should have a little tab on the bottom that goes in the uh, back side of that hole of your timing belt. Uh, timing tensioner should have a tang in it. So, further ado, that should get that part figured out. So now, since you got that figured out, now let's go to the distributor. All right. Your distributor housing would be a circle with a tab that sits out of it, like I showed you on the tracker. And it should be a little space. Now, there should be a circle where your distributor stabs down into. Alright. And then you've you got a rotor cap. Now, hopefully you did not move your rotor cap. And if you move this rotor cap, you're screwed. Because it can go on three different ways. It's got um, a triangle style. Um, underneath it's got a triangle and it can fit three different ways on that distributor if you pulled that rotor cap off you're screwed you're gonna have to sit here for the next week constantly pulling the distributor out and resetting it until you find where that bunting needs to lay on that distributor then you can go from timing it so when your distributor cap is on it it should be pointing on your rotor on the rotor cap, you're going to have to pop it off, you're going to have to lift the cap and check where this rotor is sitting at. So you want it on number one, um, 
number one tang uh, ear of the cap. That's where it should be sitting dead center of your rotor cap. Should be sitting right where number one uh, pin is going to fire at. And you got to make sure that rotor cap's dead center of number one. And that would line you into the spot right here where you tighten up your bolt. I'm hoping this will explain it. I just don't want to pull my disturbator out and try to show you guys show you how to do this. So um, I should have videos on this problem. I don't have anything on a 95 timing, which I will have one this summer when I pull the head off to do the uh, head gasket on mine. So I hope this explain it to a point. It's just a massive mess, and if you don't understand these yields, well, you're kind of screwed. Just remember, timing's one, two, four, three. Try that timing order and see if that'll uh, get you fired up and running. And you're going to have to get a timing light. So I hope that explains exactly what's going on and how to do it. So I'll peace out guys, have fun, hope this little trying to explain this problem makes any sense to anybody. My personal opinion is stay away from the 95's. Either go with the 94 or go to the 96. And stay away from the 95's because they had the most strangest 16 valve distributor set up on them. Um, if you can find a 95 with an 8 valve, then you're better off. So, I hope this explained a little bit to you guys so you guys can understand how the 8 valves work. How the 16 wannabe 8 valves work. Alright, catch you guys later. Peace out, have fun.